Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at 12.8 second order derivatives. 12.8 represents chapter 12, section 8 of the Pearson A level maths, pure maths, year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Ladies and gents, if I begin with y and I differentiate it with respect to x, I get dy over dx. Then if I begin with dy over dx and I differentiate it with respect to x, I get d2y over dx squared. d2y over dx squared is called the second order derivative. Let's have a look at an example. Given that y is equal to 3x to the power 5 plus 4x to the power minus 2, find part a dy over dx. Now in part a, we are going to start off with the y equation. So we've got y equal 3x to the power 5 plus 4x to the power minus 2. I'm going to do term by term differentiation. Bring down the power, multiply it by the coefficient and then subtract one from the power. So I've got dy over dx is equal to 5 times 3 which is 15 x to the power 5 take away 1 which is 4. Second term I've got 4 times minus 2 which is minus 8 x to the power minus 2 take away 1 which is minus 3. That there is my dy over dx. Moving on to part b. So in part b I want to work out d2y over dx squared. d2y over dx squared is called the second order derivative. I must start off with dy over dx. So I've got dy over dx equal 15x to the power 4 minus 8x to the power minus 3. To work out the second derivative d2y over dx squared I need to differentiate the first derivative dy over dx with respect to x. So I've got d2y over dx squared is equal to term by term differentiation bring down the power, multiply by the coefficient and then subtract one from the power. So over here I've got 15 times 4 which is 60, x to the power 4 take away 1 which is 3. Then I've got minus 8 times minus 3 which is positive 24, x to the power minus 3 minus 1 which is minus 4. That there is my second order derivative d2y over dx squared. This completes 12.8 second order derivative. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.